After winding down the momentous Gang War storyline, Spider-Man is headed directly towards issue 50. In the lead time, author Zeb Wells and various guest artists in the series have returned to various dangling plot threads, including a look at Aunt Anna over at Ravencroft, and in today's issue, we're even set to return to the characters of Hollow Eve and Chasm. My name is Arico Branagh, and today, let's go ahead and preview the pages of Amazing Spider-Man issue 47. But before we get deeper into the video, I want to go ahead and encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel. After the events of Web of Spider-Man 1, Chasm is on the loose. Spider-Man better track down his erstwhile clone and Hollow's Eve ASAP. We're getting closer to Amazing Spider-Man issue 50. So chapter 47 is still written by Zeb Wells. However, this issue actually features guest art from Todd Nuwak as well as guest colors from Sonia Oback. We still have the regular letters coming in from VC's Joe Caramagna and a cover featuring our usual artistic creative team on The Amazing Spider-Man featuring creators like John Romita Jr., Scott Hanna, and Marcio Menis. As we alluded to earlier, it's so epic to finally get the return of Hollow's Eve and Ben Riley as Chasm towards this run on Amazing Spider-Man, which did a really fantastic job juggling both these characters in the really epic Dark Web saga. And I want to go ahead and give a quick thank you to Adventures in Poor Taste and detail the first couple pages coming in from artist Todd Nuwak. In Amazing Spider-Man 47, I really don't think Todd Nuwak has the best artistic sensibility, and in some moments with characterization, I did find some rush plotting. For me, this is a little strange, especially because I really loved some of Todd Nuwak's art over at DC Comics on Stargirl The Lost Children. I really found that artist Todd Nuwak did such a great job with the design of this page, really utilizing elements like negative space to build up so much conflict in this really epic and arresting scene over on The Amazing Spider-Man. In this more modern run on The Amazing Spider-Man, I constantly see writer Zeb Wells introducing situations with a couple plot twists or turns to change the direction and orientation of the scene. I think this final panel illustrated from Todd Nuwak introducing the character of Hollow's Eve is such a great visual reveal for the character that changes the tone of this scene considerably. Also, I think it's really fantastic to see just some of the versatile range that Todd Nuwak is able to capture on the page as we move from this really violent, uh, bleak horror setting towards this more animated aesthetic over for Hollow's Eve. I think there's something really interesting about some of these previous installments of The Amazing Spider-Man trying to pick up the pieces and all of these narrative plot threads in the wake of the gang war. And the way that the publisher tries to introduce the nurse from Ravencroft introduced in the last couple of installments to go on a date with Peter Parker is so arresting here. The only negative feelings I can levy towards this scene is just the fact that Zeb Wells has had Peter Parker go on so many dates with ancillary characters or just members of his supporting cast. I think at this stage, I am really ready for Peter Parker to try and settle down and enter into more of a traditional relationship within the scope of this series here. In particular, I think so much of The Amazing Spider-Man 47 is trying to reintroduce all the pieces that Zeb Wells established just issues and issues and issues ago, whether it be the living brain or just some of the conflict inherent between Ben Riley and Peter Parker on the page here. I was also really impressed with the surprise character who shows up on the last couple pages in the issue. I think previous writers like Christopher Cantwell, as well as Zeb Wells himself, have done a phenomenal job with this character, and I can't wait to see how they intersect with Ben Riley and some of the other characters making up the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. So at the end of the day here, I think Amazing Spider-Man issue 47 is a phenomenal chapter of the series that does a wonderful job bringing the characters of Hollow's Eve and Chasm back into the narrative. The way that Zeb Wells found an interesting reintroduction to these characters alongside artist Todd Nuwak was incredibly visually interesting and just added so much characterization from a visual standpoint on this issue. Elsewhere, I found some pages from Todd Nuwak to capture just all the grandiose elements of Zeb Wells' script, while others really left me cold. 
Uh, the one sequence that I'm really looking at in particular is some of the reaction shots between Peter Parker and Mary Jane. I think there are some great characterization and elements of dialogue that aren't captured to their fullest extent from Todd Nuwak. Before we leave off on our review, I just want to say that I'm also really impressed with these elements of Hobgoblin as well as Betty Brant. I'm so interested with just how deep Zeb Wells is going in the Amazing Spider-Man continuity, and I can't wait to see uh, which direction he's going to head in next towards the lead-up to issue 50. I want to know from you, what are some of your final thoughts on Amazing Spider-Man 47? Did you appreciate this chapter as much as I did? What do you think about the return of Chasm and Hollow's Eve? Thank you so much for coming to check out our video review, and we'll be back to check out whatever issue 50 has in store. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.